Chapter two, making a profit. If you run a business, one way to earn money is by making a profit. It costs money to run a business. This money makes up the expenses. The money in a business it takes in is called revenue. After revenue covers all the expenses, the extra money is profit. When a company sells shoes for $50, that $50 is revenue. Companies that sell products such as shoes earn money when they sell a product. What is that money called? If the shoes cost the company $40 to make, the company earns $10 in profit. Costs and prices. People who start businesses are called entrepreneurs. They take risks. Their business ideas always have the chance to fail. If a business fails, an entrepreneur could lose money. However, a business be may become very popular. The payoff from starting a successful business can be huge. Being an entrepreneur takes a lot of research and hard work. Running a business is not just for adults. Kids can run some businesses themselves. One example is a lemonade stand. Imagine you run a lemonade stand of your own. You sell each cup of lemonade for 50 cents. At the end of the day, you sell 20 cups, adding up to $10 in revenue. Did you make enough money to cover your costs and earn a profit? It depends on your costs. You need to keep track of how much it costs to make the lemonade. This includes the costs of cups, sugar, lemons, and other supplies. You also need to think about what it costs to set up the stand. All these costs can add up quickly. Lemonade stands are common businesses run by kids. Revenue and profit. Turning revenue into profit depends on many factors. They include costs, prices, and the number of sales. Take a look at this graph for a lemonade stand sales. It shows how revenue grows over time. Revenue grows faster if you sell lemonade at 40 cents rather than 25 cents. Adding a line for costs can show how soon you will make a profit. As soon as the revenue line goes over the costs line, the lemonade stand is making a profit. Sometimes businesses will give discounts or free products to their employees. If it costs you 55 cents to make a cup of lemonade you sell for 50 cents, you made no profit. You lost five cents for each cup you sold. To make a profit, you need to raise the selling price. Prices are based on what people are willing to spend. Imagine people are willing to spend 75 cents on a cup of lemonade. If you charge 50 cents, you are giving up 25 cents per sale. If no one will pay 50 cents, you will have to lower your prices. You may stop making a profit at the lower price. You might have to find ways to lower your costs. Selling. Another way kids can make money is by selling things they own. Garage sales and online auction sites let you sell used goods. You may sell old toys or clothes. It costs money to sell things, but the cost is usually small. You must spend time organizing the items. You may have to make signs for a garage sale. Selling online means you will have to pay for shipping costs. Did you know? Jaden, age 12, and his sister Amaya, age 11, live in Tennessee. They run their own business. It started when their mom challenged them to make their own money. They decided to sell snow cones. The kids started by selling the treats from a table in their front yard. In two years, they had made enough money to buy their own food truck. However, their mom drives them around. It will still be a few years before they can drive themselves. However, you should ask a parent before selling things. This is especially important if a parent bought the item. He or she might want to put the money back into the family budget, or your parent might not want to sell the item at all. Another way to make money is to sell things you have made. You can make bracelets or carve wooden sculptures. You can also sell services such as pet sitting or garden weeding. There, these are some of the most popular ways for kids to earn extra money. Garage sales give you a chance to clean out your home and make some money. Decision time. 
You won a brand new laptop in a raffle. The ticket cost $1, but you already have a computer that works just fine. How could you turn the winning prize into profit? Which of these three options would you choose? One, keep the new computer, sell the one you already have for $150. The raffle ticket cost $1, so you would make a $149 profit. You could spend that profit on games for your new computer. You could also save it in the bank or donate some to charity. Two, sell the brand new computer for $300. Keep using the one you already have. You could use the $299 profit to upgrade your current computer. You might even have some left, enough left to save some in the bank and give some to charity. Three, keep and use both computers. You would not get a profit, but you might prefer to have an extra computer around.